Hey guys, so I want to show you the most or my most anticipated prop this year. Um, this is the Torture Box Woman from Party City. She kind of reminded me of like the Jackal from 13 Ghosts. I was really excited to see this one out. Um, let me show you the box really quick. So this is what her box looks like. It looks like that on the front and the back. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I will definitely leave the link in the description box um, with the price as well. Um, here is her instructions. So these are the pieces here. She was really easy to put together. So Party City goes a different route than Spirit Halloween does. So as you can see, she's not really, <laughs> you can see like the glue right here where her nose hits here. The color is kind of wore off a little bit. But uh, she's still really cool. Uh, but you can tell she's not exactly the same quality as Spirits. But, you know, I think uh, maybe I'm going to put some kind of foam or something in here to fill this out just a little bit. But her motion sensor also is right here. This is what she looks like down there. I'm going to put some pull noodles on her legs to kind of beef them up just a little bit. But um, her little feet are blow mold feet, so that's great. Um, I have my briefcase down there, so pay no attention to that. It's just heavy, and I needed her, because she does rock pretty dang hard, I needed it to kind of weigh it down so she doesn't flop everywhere. So the back side of her is going to be a little bit hard to <laughs> show you guys, but um, we'll start from her head. So here's her head. It's going to go down. <laughs> she knots up right there, and let me show you. I'm going to have to unbolt this hook right here and on the other side as well to show you her box all right so yeah really weird but anyway here's her little box and she actually can take batteries I'm trying to get this piece from flopping down oh my gosh did you quit okay so she actually can take batteries here she does have her on and off and her foot uh, pad she's got a speaker Jack. I haven't hooked any of my multi-prop remotes from Spirit to this, but I know that they also work on the Home Depot props. So I'm thinking as long as it has like this foot prep pad right here, then you should be able to do the multi-prop remotes in her too. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I have not tried that out yet. She's kind of loud, but not the loudest. All right, so I got her plugged in. <laughs> So yeah, did you see her head moves inside the box? I love that touch that they put in there. At first I was worried it was just going to be like a sticker put on top of it, but it's not. It's a little like head moving inside the box. You can see her motion sensor really isn't the best. You can see that. That's what I hate about them. <laughs> Right, you guys so that was the torture box woman from party city i think i paid 179 for if i remember right um aside from the small things of just beefing up her legs and her arms just stick some pull noodles in there and it'd be okay um if you don't have pull noodles you can do the pipe insulation you know get it at home depot or lowe's or anything like that so i'm hoping that the multi-prop remote actually works with her um, so we'll find out if she'll be a 10 or she's going to be a 5. <laughs> um, because if we have to rely on just this motion sensor right here, then she doesn't do too well. So just, just be known about that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.